Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Premier League predictions video. This is match day 37 of the Premier League. Two more match days to go. Firstly, once again, I apologize for this late upload, which means that I will not be able to predict the Fulham Manchester City game, which finished 4 0. I feel like it was pretty pretty certain that Manchester City was always going to win that game but that's that game done but we have to move on we have to think about this um, but before we do of course we have to go through what happened last week as always if you guys don't know how the point system works I get half a point for every team I predict correctly and I get one point for predicting the exact scoreline starting off we had Luton Town against Everton I said 1-1 one, one draw, it finished a 1-1 one, one draw, that's one point. Arsenal against Bournemouth, I said, and I said, I said 3 nil Arsenal, it finished 3 nil Arsenal. And that was incredible, those two was incredible. So that's 2 from 2. Brentford against Fulham, I said 2-1 to Fulham, it finished 0-0, nil, nil, so nothing there. Um, Burnley against Newcastle United, I said 2-2, it finished 4-1 Newcastle United. Sheffield United against Nottingham Forest, I said 2-0 Nottingham Forest, it finished 2-1, half a point. Man City Wolves, I said 3-1, it finished 5-1, half a point, so 3 points now. Chelsea West Ham, I said 2-1 West Ham win. And Chelsea tore West Ham apart by 5 goals to nail. So that was one to forget. Brighton, Aston Villa again. I said 3 1 to Aston Villa. It finished 1 0 Brighton. Liverpool against Spurs. I said 2 1 Liverpool. It finished 4 2, half a point. And Crystal Palace, Manchester United. I said 1 1. It finished 4 0. And that was simply incredible. And that is 3.5 points for this week. Heading into the last two weeks, we've got starting off, I would say match of the week, of course. Newcastle United Brighton and Manchester United Arsenal. And because the and Aston Villa Liverpool, of course, as well. But they've got some big games, right? They've got the battle for European positions. They're talking sixth, seventh. You've got obviously the title race. Man City won today. Can Arsenal keep that up? Who knows? But Everton, Sheffield United, Everton are at home, Sheffield United are relegated, I think Everton end the season on a high, and I think they win 2-0. I think they do. West Ham, Luton Town, West Ham coming off of a couple of batterings, David Moyes is gone, he's going to leave, it looks like Julian Lopetegui is going to go in as new West Ham manager, and this is incredible as well. If you remember... I'm a Real Madrid fan, but this is a man who was coaching Spain and left to join Real Madrid. And then he did absolutely disastrously and Santiago Solari came in as well. I mean, those were the poor days, weren't they? Um, and he's going to go into West Ham probably next season as well. But I think they get the job done against Luton Town with a 3-1 win. And they get themselves, you know, back to some winning ways. Although I don't think it will really mean a lot in terms of getting into some good positions for European spots. Bournemouth, Brentford, two Bs. I'm going to say 2-2 two, two draw. Um, I can see goals, but I really don't know who will win. Wolves against Crystal Palace. I'm going to say a Crystal Palace 3-0 win. I think they will cook. I do think they will cook. Spurs have to win this game. I'm going to say 4-1 Spurs. That's what I'm going to say. Um, no Richardson, of course. Newcastle United against Brighton. I'm also going to say a 4-1 win here. Now, it's boring to repeat these two, but I just feel like these two teams have got um, a big winning debt at home. I just feel that way. Nottingham Forest against Chelsea. I'm going to say 2-1 Nottingham Forest. City ground. I know Chelsea are picking up some really good form right now. I know they are. But you're going away to the city ground against 
I knew that my spiritual Santo side that have been playing well, they've been winning. Hats of the Lord has been cooking. They've got the likes of Gibbs White as well, Elanga, Awane. The attack is dangerous. They've got a good team overall. They've got a more balanced team, I would suggest, and even argue against Chelsea. So I think they'll do it. Manchester United and Arsenal. I think Arsenal win this game and they keep their title hopes to the final day. It's going to be a tight game. I'm going to say 3 to Arsenal. I think United will give them you know, a run for their money. I really do. I think the desperation, although they don't have any players, but it's still a big game. It's still between two big legendary historic clubs. It's still going to be somewhat tight, I would hope. Um, Aston Villa, Liverpool for the final game. Aston Villa looking for top four. Liverpool out of the title race already, basically. Villa Park, you know, this is a Villa side that lost to Olympiacos across two legs. And they lost at home, which they should have won to give them a bit better chance. But they lost at home. So I think Liverpool will come in. And they'll win 3-1. I just don't feel like this Villa Park, you know, hype that, you know, it's a place that teams struggle at really plays into a huge factor anymore, especially at this time of the season. So those are my predictions. Let me know what yours are down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit the button instead, subscribe to the channel on already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.